Yeah, okay, here's the property at um, 7511 Steeple you Brook. Know Brook. Okay. Cool. Okay. And awesome. uh, standing at the end of the walkway. Hey, you got those street. other properties, right? Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Here's the agent from the other listing, I mean, from the uh, other showing, who was two hours early for his showing and then stayed in there for an hour. That was awesome. I really liked that a lot. All right, so <laughs> I'm walking down the stairs, um, standing in front of the front door. There's a walkway that goes this way to the garage and the driveway. Here's the front door. And then to the right, we have grass. It's very lush greenery around here, nice and shaded in the front yard. This would actually be a great place for the kids to play. They could only get out to the street over there. I'm going to go up to the front door. All right. Let's see. All right, you don't need to stare at Okay. So. It's gorgeous. And grab the key. That couple was going to submit an offer. I just heard them talking about it. All right, so when you walk in, it's a big open space. It's really gorgeous. So they've got this set up as a formal sitting area. Bay window. We've got crown molding, shoe molding, and then there's detail in the ceiling. This area is set up as a big uh, dining table that could easily hold a bigger table if you wanted, but this table seats eight, I guess, comfortably, so I don't know if you'd want to. Cool light fixture. And here's a look at the floor. My phone seems to be picking it up a little bit grayer than it looks. It's actually pretty brown. So here's the kitchen. Cool light fixtures again. And... Uh, big bar and the bar is marble. We've got places for bar stools underneath here. It's painted a deep teal turquoise color. Plugs on the side of it. The flooring in here looks like it is, yeah, it's wood tile. This would be very durable. Dishwasher, farmhouse sink. This is all one level. And then over here we have cabinetries painted the same color on the bottom. On my phone it looks like it's picking it up as navy blue, but it's actually more of a teal color. And here's the space up above. The backsplash is textured, little bitty tiles. And uh, I've got a little bit of cabinetry over here. There's not a ton of cabinetry in the kitchen, but it's very open. It says there's a microwave. Ooh, nice, hidden. Okay, so standing at the kitchen counter, you have a very open view to what they have set up as a formal living room, the front door, the kitchen table, and then past the kitchen, we have, well, I guess this is the dining room table. This shares the same space as the kitchen table. This is just a four-seater, obviously. And then we've got the formal, informal living room. <clears throat> Excuse me, I got a frog in my throat. An informal living room. This is very open also, and the windows across the back are gorgeous. You've got, uh, looks like a wood-burning fireplace, shiplap. There's a little bit of round tile around the fireplace so that you can get an idea. Everything feels very clean and very open, and the backyard is gorgeous, and the windows look out there. So let's do a little bit more inside, and then I'll take you outside. So start on this end of the house. Over here we have the powder room, very nice. It's this tile on the wall, not wallpaper. This reminds me of that downstairs bathroom in the, uh, in the home that you guys put the offer in on first. And right here we have a hollow closet, which strangely has a locking doorknob on it. All right. 
fan is really cool. It's huge. Okay, there's an upstairs right here. We will go upstairs after we finish the downstairs. All right, so I'm back in the kitchen, walking past. And over here to the right, we have cabinetry. What is this? Oh, this is their pantry. So they don't have a walk-in pantry. They're using this cabinetry over here as a pantry. This is the garage door. And then right here, we have the laundry room. Nice big washer and dryer. And this would be your formal pantry. There we go. No, it didn't seem right that a house this nice wouldn't have a pantry. So it's in the laundry room, which is very close because there's the kitchen. It's just out of the way, which is nice. And then this laundry room also has a sink. It's laminate countertops around the sink. And this window that looks out into the front yard, but remember that front yard is kind of terraced, so you're not looking out at the street because there's trees and stuff in front of it. All right, let's look in the garage. Light switch, light switch, where are you? There you go. So a three car garage, one on one side and two on the others. They have shelving from the ceiling, water softener, um, let me make sure this is not going to lock me in the garage. Okay. Shelving over here up above. They've got full size fridge and a chest freezer and a gigantic Christmas wreath. And this door is for two cars and one car on the other side. So the ceiling in here is probably 10 feet. It's nice. It's almost flat walking from the garage into the house. So that's nice, no stairs. Okay, back out into the grand living space and everything that entails. There's the front door. And over here we have what they have set up as a nursery. Huge fan. That's gotta be like five feet across. Bay window. And then it's got a little closet. Just big enough for a little bit of tiny boy hanging stuff. This has French doors into this room. So now um, around the corner right here we have the master. So this master is nice and open with all those big windows facing the backyard. The same fan that's in the living room. It's the same flooring throughout all of downstairs, which is nice. Nice and consistent. Okay, into the bathroom. Ooh, this is pretty. Okay, so now we have different flooring in here. This is the closet. Hanging on both sides. There's shelving behind the door also. And the potty is tucked in the corner over here. Does not have a separate door. Double vanity. It's not much space in between the two sinks, but there's space on either side. And I like these lights. It's very soft. It'd be good for makeup. There's the cool light over the tub. And here's the tub. It's very deep. Looks like they have a handheld uh, sprayer there too. And the shower is enormous. The shower is probably seven by six. It's got two shower heads with separate controls on either side. The tile around the shower matches the tile around the tub. There's a seat, nooks for your stuff, and then the round tile on the floor. And the marble down here on the bottom, the threshold matches the marble that's on the bathroom sink. So over here we have, oh, another closet. This closet has a window in it. And they have put a dresser in here. And then here's your storage. It's just two racks of storage and a shelf behind the door. This door doesn't want to stay open, so I don't know if that's... I mean, there's a lot of tile in here, so I wouldn't think that that's foundation movement or anything like that, but you never know. 
Okay, oh, and I forgot to show you the rest of the lighting in the bathroom. Well, there's a sh light over the shower, and then recessed lights are on the ceiling, and they've done some patchwork in the paint around that light. It's a different sheen from the rest of the ceiling. Okay, back out into the master. So it looks like the master and one bedroom are over here. And then I'm guessing that all the rest of the bedrooms are upstairs. So I'm gonna cross the house to where the bedrooms were. That backyard is gorgeous. I can't wait to go out there. Okay. Stairs are wooden treads. Just a straight stairway. Pretty wide. And then up here we have Berber carpet. Got a decorative nook. And to the right we have a bathroom, hexagonal tile. There's a tub shower combo over here with more decorative tile. Around a very nice shower head and windows that look out to the backyard, but they're above head level for me at least. Um, here's the vanity and the lights. Ooh. There you go. The lights over the shower is a different unit with the fan installed. All right, and here's a bedroom. This is a king size bed in this bedroom and a dresser. It's a little tight, but I'm imagining that you probably wouldn't have a king size bed for one of the kids. Um, here's the view out the window. That's the street over there, so you're not looking into someone's yard, and then you're looking at the roof of the porch. And beyond that, you can see its trees. And we've got a sliding door to the closet here. Um, shelving up on top. There's a hanging rack right here and then a higher hanging rack on the other side. Let me show you the other side. And a rod down below. Okay. So we don't have crown molding up here, which isn't always a bad thing. We do have base molding. So back to the top of the stairs. Little wrinkle in the carpet right there. That happens a lot with Berber, I've noticed. And then we've got a sitting room up here. Nice big windows. There's so much natural light in this house, it's great. Look at what the lights are. So that one in the middle is not on. I don't know if that's intentional or not. There's only one light switch here. But they have a humongous TV on this wall and a three-seater couch and a two cushion couch over here, love seat, and then a chair over there. So they've got a lot of furniture up here and it does not feel cramped because it's just the furniture and then these big cabinets, which look like they're probably going to stay. And then there's your attic access. So right here next to the top of the stairs, we have that nook again, and we have a closet for linens. Directly across from the closet, we have a bedroom. Big window facing the front of the house. They have another king-size bed in here and a dresser and end tables. So this room feels a little bit bigger than the other one that we were just in. And then here is, oh my goodness, <laughs> that scared me. Here's a closet with a very realistic looking baby doll. <laughs> okay, so got shelving up on top, a couple hanging rods on one side and one in the back. Lots of natural light. So we have a Jack and Jill bedroom right here with hexagonal tile. The gray and then solid surface countertop with two sinks, two lights, two medicine cabinets. Everybody gets the same thing. And, ooh, this is a nice big Jack and Jill. So this one has another tub shower combo with white textured tile and those fancy shower heads. And then past that, it opens up to where the stool is and then a linen closet and a window that goes to the front and then there's some shelving over here for decorative purposes. So this is bigger than you usually see in a Jack and Jill, the potty part. This bedroom is big enough for a king size bed but they only have a twin in here right now. I guess that's all they needed. There's tons of space. This twin 
and a little dresser and an end table, you could easily fit a lot more stuff in here. This, this, I think this bedroom's bigger than the others. Um, it goes right back out to that shared family room again. And then here's the closet for this room. So this closet is much bigger than any of the other closets. It's very much a walk-in. It's almost the same size as the closets down in the master. And then right here we have attic access, where your water heater is in the attic. And not very much storage up here. Just a very small little area to walk into. Whew, it's hot in there. But the natural light in this house is gorgeous. All right, I'm anxious to see this backyard. Let's get down there and look at it. Oh, arched doorways, I don't know if you get to see that. All right, heading downstairs.